previously we have understood about object prototype now in this before moving to new keyword let's understand some more things about this keyword okay we are going to learn about this keyword moving backward in our object method section we have seen about this keyword let me just show you we have seen about this keyword and here i am having this object and inside this here i am having one method course and this course method is returning computer science now will it be possible to return first name and last name inside the function this first name and last name i just have to return inside this method yes we have already seen in plenty of examples we have understood using this keyword we can easily return this one but how we are getting only this first name and this last name we are having plenty of things outside the object but when we write this this keyword this is referring to this object and whatever values we are having here we can just get using dot first name and dot last name so let us see practically that one you should understand this is not a variable it is a keyword and we cannot change value of this okay this is a keyword keywords in javascript cannot be changed they are fixed and in javascript this refers to an object why because in javascript almost everything is an object then which object it depends on the value and where this is defined okay that we are going to see in just a minute so this keyword will be referring to different objects depending on how it is used in javascript this when it is used with object method it will be referring to the owner object when it is used alone then it will be referring to global object when it is used inside the event then it will be referring to that element on which the event is invoked and if it is used with function then also it will be referring to global object when it is used with function but in strict mode then the value of this will be undefined okay these are the facts but when we use this inside this methods like apply we have bind we have call then the value of this will be any object okay some examples we are going to understand practically previously we have not understood now we are just going to understand it practically i have opened my vs code editor and inside this previously we have seen how to create this constructor function how to give this what is this new keyword we will see in next session but these are the things we have understood what is prototype everything we have seen the object that is executing the current function will be referring to this now first let me just print here this alone i am just using if i save this you can see it will be referring to global object that is our window and inside window whatever methods we have everything will be displayed so whenever we are using this alone then it will be referring to global object when we are using this inside the function then also it will be referring to global object i will be writing function data my function name inside this let me just print here log i will be writing my function and below this i'm just going to call this function i will save this now i got the result as my function whatever string i have passed i got that result again i will be writing log inside this if i write here this i will be getting the same window object whatever we got while using alone same thing i will be getting inside the function but when i am using this inside the function and also here i am having use strict 
okay you don't have to worry about this use trick we are going to understand about this use trick once we start about advanced javascript i will save this now you can see the value of this will be undefined let me comment it out now here i am having one object object student and inside this student i am having first name first name kanam then here i will give color favorite color let me just write here yellow blue whatever it is yellow then i am just going to write one method here okay these are the way we can write or or else if you don't want to write like this you can just write here function keyword and also you can directly write like this okay we have already seen inside this log i will print here method method inside object now here i'm just going to call this call this method student dot course i will save this now i got the result whatever data i'm having inside this method that is displayed now inside this method let me print this i will save this now you can see it will be referring to this owner object it will not be referring to global object it will be referring to this object so inside this whatever values i am having that is displayed now object properties can be accessed using dot so i can write here dot i can just write here f name then kanam will be displayed okay this is how this will be having different values based on where it is used if it is used alone it will be referring to global object if it is used inside function it will be referring to global object if it is used inside function with strict mode it will be having the value as undefined but if it is used inside the object then it will be referring to that owner object as of now you just have to understand this basic things about this when we learn about advanced javascript depending on its use i will be telling you more about this keyword now let me show you the basic example one more example where you will be having little more understanding about this keyword i will come down now here i am just going to create one object student and for this object i will give first name then i am just going to give last name i will give standard i will be giving color then again inside this i am just going to create one more object subject marks one mm okay let me write here marks one marks two marks 3 then finally here i am just going to create list and inside this i am just going to pass array value 4 3 7 8 okay these are some of the list i have just passed now this is the object i have created inside this another object i am having an array now what i am going to do i will come here log and here i am just going to display student i will save this now entire object will be displayed now what i am going to do i am just going to give one method here i will just write here course inside this course i just want to display log i will be displaying the list so here i am having one function now let me just display that method and you will be seeing the result i will save this now you can see i will be getting uncaught reference list is not defined why because i am not having list inside this method i am having list inside my owner object so what i should be doing i should be writing this dot list as soon as i write this one i will be getting the result and when you are having this console and if you are doing again console i will be getting the result as undefined so directly i am just going to call this one i will remove this console i will save this now i got the list 
because we have already seen when it is defined inside the method then this will be referring to the owner object and from owner object i can just access the values using this dot operator so i got the result as this one now just imagine here i am having one regular function inside this method here i will come i will be writing this dot this dot list will be giving me all the list numbers 4 3 7 9 and I just want to loop this one for each. Here I will be giving regular function. Inside this regular function, let me just write here list data. I will just open curly braces and here I am just going to print console. Console dot log and here I will just write this. I will save this. Now you can see each and every time I am going to get this window object. As here I am having 4 values, so for each loop, 4 times it will be looping. And why I am getting this? Because this is my function. Okay, from here my function is starting and it is ending here. So inside this function, I have given this, this value. So whenever we give this inside the function, it will be referring to global object. So I will be getting this result. You can see I got 4 times my global object. Because inside this function, regular function, I am having this, this. So suppose now I am having regular function. I am having for each loop. But I want instead of getting global object, I want these values. So what I will be doing, this is my method. My method is here. So this is how we are going to get the result. Whenever we pass this inside regular function, we will get global object. Now suppose inside this function, I am having for each loop. Here I am having for each. Here I am looping the list. But I want this data only. Instead of getting this global object as my result, I want this data one by one. So what I will be doing, second parameter for this method, I will be passing this keyword. So when I pass second parameter as a this keyword, then this will be referring my object. Once it is referring to object, now this will be referring to object. So now if I just save this one, you can see four times I will be getting my object as the result. I will not be getting global object. I will be getting object as my result. Now from here I can just display that one. I can write S name. I will save this. I will be getting 4 times. You can see 4 number. 4 times I will be getting the F name. But I want this data. Inside this I have passed this parameter. I will paste it here. Now I got the result as undefined. Because inside this object I am not having anything that is related to this list data. So let me just put comma here. I will save this. You can see. This is my object and the first value is 4. Again object using this, this I am printing the object. The value is 3. Then again object the value is 7. Again object value is 9. Okay, this is how this keyword is useful and might be for a beginner it will be little confusing. Because for us also sometimes this becomes difficult because we get mess up with the things. But once you understand about this keyword and what values this is having based on how it is invoked, then this keyword will be very easy for you to understand. I hope you understood this example. Just practice this example. As soon as we pass the second parameter, then this will be referring to the object and based on that we can get the value. You can pass any data here and you can get the result. Now here if I just write here this dot. Um, let me just write here this dot subject. I will save this. You can see for subject I am having all these things, all the data. This is another object. So I will be getting this result. If I just write here L name, then four times I will be getting L name and I will be getting the result. Okay, that's all about this keyword. Later on when we learn about advanced JavaScript, then also we are going to understand about this keyword depending on how it is invoked. Once you understand about this keyword, 
then understanding new keyword will be easy